when the hurricane uh, hit, I wanted to help out a little bit, so I got teamed up with the short front Y and Kajeko, folks like Ariella, um, Andrew, who we've been working together, sending volunteers into buildings, bringing supplies and resources and getting information uh, specifically about buildings that have a lot of senior citizens in them. So that's all over Brighton Beach, that's all over Coney Island, um, that's in parts of Manhattan Beach and parts of Sheepshead Bay. We've been running groups of volunteers up and downstairs, bringing water, food, supplies. Um, lately, we've actually got a lot of supplies of heaters, and a lot of these buildings now have electricity but no heat, and we've been running heaters for the past couple of days. Um, here out of the Shore from Y, which has become a distribution center and a real strong resource center for southern Brooklyn. It's continuing to make a difference to make sure that people stay healthy, stay safe, stay warm. When we were bringing water to people on the 17th floor or buildings that didn't have any water, or the 6th floor buildings that didn't have any water, folks who can't get down those stairs, that's, I think that made a difference. I don't think I've ever made a difference like that in my entire life. As a deal, but it was not possible because we saw waves like this level on my breast. We are staying here now because we don't have a place to move. Our car uh, is flooded, destroyed. So, we, you know, for us now, everything is a problem. Sometimes we're drinking food and we're using Red Cross um, buses, um, trucks, they are here. Uh, and we go to the church to take food, to take some clothing, water, candles from the beginning because we didn't have uh, light. That night, my, well, that day my daughter wanted me to go to her house. So um, that night, my neighbor upstairs called and said, look at your window. I saw the water. And I'm standing here, all of a sudden, the flood pulled the air conditioner out. And that's when all the water came in. Then the lights went out. Power, no phone, no electricity, no heat, no hot water. My power came back in. An old person like me can die of dehydration if she doesn't drink water. I had no water for three days. It took her time to climb up 20 flights of stairs. These volunteers were wonderful. If it wasn't for the volunteers, I would be dead. Very cold, yes. Very cold. Little bit is gas, no gas, no no smell. Very no good, yes.